What happens when a friend of Goku's dies? The track record shows that's when he reaches a new level of power. And we may just be seeing the first death of an angel, but also a friend of Goku's. Someone that trained with him for months and was able to make him tap into Ultra Instinct at will. Of course, one day before the full chapter comes out, the leaks for the chapter 63 manga of Dragon Ball Super have come out. Starting things off with these leaks, Goku actually gets back up on his feet. The hole in his chest is gone, so you'd assume that Krillin would give him the Sensu Bean, and is now able to fight alongside this angel Mirus using Ultra Instinct Omen. One thing that I can tell straight away that they're really trying to push home is this bond between Goku and Mirus. They've only known each other for a few months, but Goku really likes him. He rushes Moro with Ultra Instinct, but it's the same result that happened last time. This version of Moro is beyond Ultra Instinct, and he ironically dodges all of Ultra Instinct Goku's attacks. Also, as a side note, Beerus and Whis are on Earth flying around. They're having a conversation about something, but it is important to notice that Beerus and Whis are coming to the battlefield. Goku proceeds to be kicked around by Moro. He gets knocked out of Ultra Instinct, uh, and that's basically it. It moves on to the next panel, which is Mirus getting his neck snatched by Moro from behind. This is what a lot of people were worried about. If Moro could absorb angelic powers like Mirus, there would be no one left that could even contest him. Fortunately though, Mirus reacts pretty quickly to this and he just cuts off Moro's hand. And he doesn't stop there. He then goes on to destroy the crystal inside of Moro's palm. This is where he holds the powers of 7-3 and Vegeta. You can tell by his reaction that this has damaged him a lot. Mirus picks up on this and he uses his staff as a gun and he shoots the other palm of Moro cracking the other crystal in his hand. At this point, Moro doesn't even know what to do. He's losing all of his powers, and Mirus still isn't done yet. He powers up to an angelic level where he has a halo around his neck, and he rushes Moro. He punches him and cracks the crystal right in the middle of his forehead. Mirus is out here making Moro look like a Mario villain. He falls back very dramatically, and Mirus has just taken away about 50% of what made Moro so powerful in this form. He has taken away a majority of his powers, and as a result, Moro is weakened. It then cuts to an even more dramatic shot, where Mirus looks like he's fading away into the sky. Goku's face, he looks like he's about to cry, and Mirus is there, fading away slowly, but smiling, and leaving Goku with some very choice words. As an angel, Mirus, by fighting Moro, made the ultimate sacrifice, and now he has to pay the price. He is dying, being erased, with no chance of coming back. Because he is an angel, not even the Dragon Balls can bring this man back. He fades into a fine mist, and Goku is left standing in the very same position as he was on planet Namek. That is where the leaks end. Beerus and Whis are also on the same panel, but it looks like Goku is having an insane reaction to his friend, Mirus, being erased and sacrificing himself for him. Those are the leaks, and it's very clear what's about to happen. Goku is about to transcend into his ultimate full powered Ultra Instinct form, and then take on a weakened Moro. What this does, if done the way it looks like it's going, it makes Goku, once again, the strongest in the universe. Whatever his reaction is to this, whether it is Ultra Instinct or something else completely, it is looking like that out of everyone that could have taken down Moro, it will be, in the end, Goku. Let me know what you think. These were the leaks. The full chapter is going to be out in a few days. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.